everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and these are our 2021 readings by sign. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. Please remember that I do have courses over at Gumroad, and I always leave all that information in the description box below. So what I'm doing here is I, even though I'm not an astrologer, I'm just using the signs to break down into smaller uh, groups of people so that I can read and uh, we will see what is coming up for you in 2021. Let's get started. Hello Capricorn. So let's see what's going on for you for 2021. I'm gonna start off with a little bit of a message for you and then we will get on to the cards. So for you, hmm. Okay, so you're all in a very, very different space. <laughs> <laughs> the other signs were a little bit easier because I like turned on the camera. It was like, here are your words. Here's here are your messages for you guys. You're all over the place. So some of you, it has this feeling of like, I'm still going to keep charging ahead. I'm still going to take charge of life, but you're enjoying the process of that. See, not everybody enjoys that. Most, most of the time people are kind of charging ahead out of stress, <laughs> right? out of a fear, out of a fear. If I don't keep charging ahead, something's going to be taken away from me. For you, it's sort of like, no, I, I feel uh, more grounded when I'm actively, um, you know, seeking out the next adventure, when I'm actively seeing what I'm capable of, you know, pushing the envelope, uh, trying new challenges and just seeing what comes of it. Now, What's beautiful about what I'm picking up from this group of people is your adaptability. Perhaps out of all the signs, at least from little old me over here, like what I'm picking up, a lot of you have really, really learned to sort of hone your logistical side and balance that with your spiritual side. And so you are well equipped to handle what comes your way. What does that mean? That means this year, if you have old past uh, hurt, pain, fears, when they start coming up, if you choose, you have the capacity to work through that. Of course, if you need some support in doing that, you can always reach out for a professional's help, like a therapist or something like that. But for the most part, I think a lot of you, you got to get into this attitude of, I'm going to take life as it comes. And I'm going to be grateful for what's right in front of me. And I'm going to try this thing because it makes me feel fulfilled. If it works, great. If it doesn't, okay, I'm on to the next thing. I'll just keep just kind of, again, taking life as it comes. For some of you, you might be tempted to push kind of hard on something. In your case, it might work out, but <laughs> it's never usually encouraged because once you push on something, you're putting desperation around it and it pushes it right out of your existence. There is a feeling though that for some of you, there could be a success through that, but you won't be happy with the success. And that's part of your lesson. That, that shows you like, oh, yeah, I got, you know, this is that kind of example of people who they like really try really hard to climb up the corporate ladder, for example. And then when they get to the top, they're like, ain't nothing up here. <laughs> it was more fun on the way up. So that's the kind of year that's going on here where you're really rolling with the punches here. If you do find yourself getting scattered and getting kind of like, uh, I don't feel so grounded. I don't feel so good. Remember, you are very adaptable. You can be. You can be if you choose it. And if you really start to feel stuck, for a lot of you, a, a creative project of whatever, you know, whether it's music, drawing, painting, I don't know, um, that can really unlock a flow of energy for you. Moving your body is going to be a great outlet, okay? So I, if you're into running, okay, but I see uh, people taking up dancing. It's something about exercising and moving your body, going for a walk, you know, all of those things that will definitely help kind of cycle around some of this energy that you might feel is getting pent up in you this year. So whatever occurs, Roll with it because you can. Remember that you can, okay? All right. So let's get you some cards here. Okay. I heard hypervigilant. 
and I don't know what that means. So for some of you, let that be, be a word of caution. If you don't have a good feeling about something, move away from it, okay? Communication is key, new moon in Gemini. This is speaking the truth to yourself, and this is also, for some of you, this is a pursuit in communications, yes? Now remember, communications can be media, journalism, any kind of writing. It can be singing, teaching, you know, all of these kinds of things. But mostly for, <laughs> for doing a general reading, which we are, and speaking generally, it is about speaking the truth to you. And this might mean the hardest truth of all, I need a day off. Oh my gosh. If I'm not doing something today, whatever will become of me, um, nothing. Actually, <laughs> you'll be fine. Nothing bad will happen if you take a day off. You should take a day off, right? And this is you coming out with your truth and, and letting people see who you really are. Um, because I think your opinions have changed. You've done a lot of growing as a person. And maybe it's time to start expressing yourself in a different way. This keeps coming out. Nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. So in your case, this is something that you might be worried about. There will be an instinct on how to handle this. There will be a solution, but you have to tune into that solution and don't worry, okay? This will get worked out. There will be something that can come in and bring this to a conclusion. This also means watch your timing. Watch your timing. Again, if you feel like something doesn't feel right, don't go for it yet. Okay, you, these same cards keep, you all saw me shuffling. See, we're getting more and more connected, I think, honestly. You are good enough, full moon in Virgo. Your self-esteem being based on how much you can fit into a day <laughs> or whatever, how people view you, uh, you're going to learn to disconnect from that form of self-esteem and be more connected with just who you are as a divine being and a human body and say, that's enough. Okay. That's good enough. It doesn't have to be anything grandiose. All right. And then you have emotions are running high super moon. So this feels like when you do give yourself a break, there's going to be a lot of emotions that come pouring out. There could be a cleansing of your emotions as well. Don't be afraid of this. This is freeing up some space in your energy so that you can bring in some good stuff and have some new emotional experiences. If you're hung up on an X, you know, this is that time where it's like, kick, scream, do whatever you gotta do, and then you leave space open for something new. So your color card is yellow. Purify your body with the exercise, right? 22, so your big, you know, your key to mastery, I guess, is balance and realizing your need for that balance. And we have yellow here, solar plexus, self-esteem, you're finding a different approach to your sense of worthiness. And this is going to yield really beautiful results that I think for everybody, it's really unexpected this year. <laughs> right? Like how we've always seen ourselves is now how we're going to see ourselves, how we've always defined what we should be doing and how we should be living our lives. That's all taking a turn. But for you, it's a really beautiful thing. Just remain balanced. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.